subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. You have a Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus and you've been saying, what is going on with the battery drain here? on these devices. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you 20 ways how to stop battery drain on your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. At number one is to disable the always on display. We're gonna go into settings here and we're just gonna locate always on display by typing it in the search bar. And when we get there, all you have to do is go into lock screen and security, always on display and tick it off. Now, I know this is a nice feature, but one to 2% it drains throughout the day. And that's enough for me to say, go ahead and disable that to save some battery drain. Now, set performance to optimize. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down into our navigation bar, hold down on the performance mode. And here it does say optimize. What we wanna do is make sure that st stays on optimize and not game entertainment or high performance. We also wanna go to settings and make sure that our screen resolution in this mode is at full HD plus for a little bit more of a battery savings. So that's my second recommendation here to stop this battery drain for your S9. And number three is to turn off the auto brightness. Now, yes, you're gonna need it in direct sunlight, which is like once a day or whatever, when you're outside and you really need this, go back and turn it on. But for the most part, leave this off because it's just gonna be doing things and just draining your battery life. It's gonna be going up and down. And number four, let's quit all background apps once in a while. Now on Android, these apps stay running in the background. On iOS, it's questionable. But here on Android, they stay running. So close these out once in a while to save a little bit of consumption. It's not gonna do too much, but it's something nonetheless, and something is better than nothing. Let's go on to number five here, which is going to be device maintenance options. So we're gonna go into settings, device maintenance, and then we're gonna go to optimize now. Now what this does is Samsung's gonna try to find everything that's going on in the background. It's not really helping out you know, the device overall, and it's gonna optimize it for the best performance and the best battery. So let's go ahead and do that as frequently as it can. Now I know you can't do this all day, but try to do it as much as possible when you get the chance. And number six, let's disable apps that are not in use. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do it here from the settings. You can do it here right in your applications. You can hold it down and try to change them, but I would recommend going into the apps and then just going through the ones that you don't find yourself using that much, like Chrome, for example, you might use a Samsung browser. Hit disable here and you could disable Chrome. Now, some of the Samsung apps you cannot disable, so you're kind of stuck with those, but for the ones that you can, try to disable as many that you can. This should save you a little bit of battery life. And as a bonus tip, like I say, just delete some stagnant apps. For example, if you're using Yelp just to look at a restaurant review, you don't need it no more, uninstall that app, because that app just sitting there stagnant in your drawer is actually using a little bit of data in the background and using power consumption. So at number seven, we're gonna go ahead and tweak the GPS settings. So we're gonna go into our navigation drawer and you can see, let's go to location and we're gonna turn this on battery saving. Sometimes it's on high accuracy out of the box for the best accuracy, sometimes not, but I would put this on battery saving. This saves a ton of battery life and trust me, this is one of the big ones here. So go ahead and do this. Okay, so at number eight, we're gonna consider 70% or lower brightness. You're gonna have to manage this yourself and I have it on auto brightness because I'm outdoors right now, but 70% or lower, if you can you know, see it good enough, this is the sweet spot for me for getting the best battery life on the Galaxy device. Now, next up at number nine is going to be to run this device at 720p resolution when you're just you know, going about your day because you're not really gonna be paying attention too much to the resolution until you're like in a dark room and you're reading something. That's when it really matters a whole bunch. So I would run it at HD plus just when you're doing daily basic tasks where you're not really focus in too much on the phone. You're just doing messaging and stuff like that to save a ton of battery. And number 10, let's tweak the Wi-Fi battery savings options. Now these are kind of hidden. We're gonna go into Wi-Fi, go to advanced. And in here, if we go down to view more, you probably never would have knew this was here. If we scroll down, you're gonna see that keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. We wanna take this to never because Wi-Fi can be a battery drain and it's been probably draining your battery since day one since you got this phone. Wi-Fi power saving mode is also available. I'd recommend as a bonus tip to turn that one on as well. So this should save you a considerable amount of battery life as well. And number 11, let's enable the data saver mode. And this is basically gonna allow you to specify which apps you want using data in the background. So let's go to 
the data saver and we're going to turn this on and you can see data saver helps you cut on down on your data and things like that so i would definitely recommend using this if you really want to save a ton of battery life and at number 12 is to specify the specific applications in the data saver so we're going to go to allow apps and we're just going to pick the ones that we're actually going to use here you know we really want them syncing up data other than that turn the rest of them off because they're just using power when you don't even care about using those apps that much. So go ahead and just put the ones that are really important to you here for specifying the applications for this data saver mode. Now at number 13, we're gonna use a static wallpaper. What does this mean? It's just a wallpaper that has no infinity effects, no motion effects. Now those are pretty to look at in the store and sometimes on the day to day, but at the same time, they use battery life and they're kind of unnecessary as uh, it gets old after a while and just starts using battery. So you can enable something like a default wallpaper, put it at the home and lock screen settings and we're gonna hit set as wallpaper and no motion effects as well. Just hit apply and this should save you eh, not too much, but a little bit of battery life here on the day to day. So go ahead and consider that. And number 14 is to change the vibration modes to sound. Bonus tip, you can go ahead and turn off all vibrations to save more. So sound mode, put this at sound. Vibration is nice, but do we really need it? If we can hear our phone, we're still gonna get that call, right? So let's scroll down a little bit and you can see that we do have vibration feedback and keyboard vibration. You can consider turning those off if you'd like to save even more battery life. That's an extra option right there. That's what's helped me on my journey of using the Samsung Galaxy devices. So vibration is a luxury feature to me, but it's definitely not needed when it comes to functionality on the day to day. And it does save me some battery life. And number 15, I like for you guys to go ahead and adjust the screen timeout. This has helped me a lot as well, because sometimes you'll put the screen timeout on five minutes or two minutes for something, and then you'll leave it on and it'll start staying on in your pocket and you'll forget. So 30 seconds is a good medium. If you go to 15, you might be turning your screen off automatically while you're doing so. So I, I do recommend about 30 seconds. Okay, number 16, use the mid power saving mode. So in power saving settings in our navigation drawer, we're gonna hold down and we're just gonna use the mid mode here. It has a speed limiter, which I would recommend you leave on. And this is a good balance between not really slowing the device down too much, but still giving you a pretty good savings on battery life. So consider using that mid mode here in the power saving modes in the Galaxy S9. At number 17, let's just forget about using Chrome. Let's use the Samsung browser. The Samsung browser is better optimized, of course, for the Samsung device. And I found in my experience, it drains way less battery than the Google Chrome browser. So consider the Samsung internet if you can. Do a reboot from time to time at number 18 because rebooting the device kind of clears the cache and everything in the background. It's like a fresh start for the phone each and every day. So a reboot, it's not always necessary, but if you're finding your phone draining like crazy, definitely consider doing this. This might fix your issue altogether. Sometimes the phone simply needs a reboot when it's overheating or the battery is just draining way too much. Let's go ahead at number 19 and blacken out your Galaxy S9 with a black wallpaper. I recommend using the pitch black wallpaper found in the Play Store. It's a simple black wallpaper. You just hit yes, I do. And you always can just simply put a black wallpaper that simply. I'll leave that link down below. I also recommend recommend holding down and going to themes and finding a black theme in the Samsung theme store. This will blacken out like the system UI and stuff like that. And that adds more black because the OLED is known to go ahead and save more battery life on the Super AMOLED display. So that's number 19. And number 20, this is for the ambitious use the max power saving mode. I don't recommend this for everybody. That's why I put it at last because it's not the most recommended setting. But if you're really just having horribly horrible trouble getting through the day, go to the max power saving mode, formerly known as ultra power saving mode. This thing will just definitely easily get you through the full day. It does reduce basically almost everything that makes us a super phone. So it'll be more like a dumbed down version of your Galaxy S9, but you will easily make it through that day with the max power saving mode if all else of these tips do fail, which they shouldn't. So that's it. That's 20 ways to stop 